All right, today is October the 4th, 2016. We're looking at the uh, Caribbean water vapor loop. And we have uh, Hurricane Matthew right here, which is plowing through Haiti and uh, looks like it's going to run right over uh, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, right here. Now, the storm has weakened slightly. We can go ahead and look at the uh, Hurricane Center map right now. This is Matthew right here with uh, 130 mile per hour winds. And the uh, Central pressure has risen quite a bit. It was down at around 936 millibar, I believe it was. Now it's up at 950 millibar. Storm's moving at 8 miles per hour. Still a Category 4. Uh, but it has weakened slightly uh, since it's moved near a land right here. So we'll keep an eye on that. Let's look at the uh, rainbow loop. Earlier today, uh, there was a very small amount of red in this system. They were uh, hitting this. Uh, There's a lot of uh, blast pattern evidence around this storm uh the, you know and so uh, we're keeping an eye on that uh, and we can see some detail here in the invisible loop there's a photoshopping going on over the core of these of this area here and also right over right here so there is some attempt to uh being made to uh target that storm and we can see the blast pattern right out here and what we what we're seeing at right now uh, with this storm and what's going on over the uh, the uh, country is that uh, we have two things. We've got high pressure built in here. This has been installed to maintain separation between these two uh, weather systems. Also, we have uh, this uh, high pressure setting up right over uh, the entire uh, east coast. And that is going to uh, prevent this storm from moving in uh, very close. In fact, we can see this entire a weather system moving offshore. We have a very, uh, a very uh, clear shot here. We have a lot of high pressure being uh, installed right here, and that is going to. Uh, in fact, we can see a sort of a straight line right there. Um, let me get this straight edge out here. We can see that that is uh, fairly straight. And what's happening is they are going to use this high pressure on this side and the high pressure installed on this side to guide this storm right through this corridor. And what I think they're going to do is prevent this system from getting anywhere near the uh, the east coast of the United States. That's my prediction based on what we're seeing right here. We have a storm, a storm system up over here, uh, which shows up on the uh, Goes West map right over here. And so we have a huge area of uh, we have a channel of a blockade here that will prevent this system from emerging with what's going on right here. We have the tail of this hurricane, which some of that is moving up the east coast as well. Now in this view, uh, <clears throat> we can see some evaporation taking place right through here. A lot of evaporation, we can see that happening. That will separate. They're going. They're going to isolate this storm, and that's already happening. And then we have the uh, all of this high pressure that's been installed all through here, and that will rechannel this hurricane away from the United States. And of course, they have high pressure right all through here. We can see that very clearly. Uh, all the uh, the outflow is to the uh, to the east. All right, now the West Coast is a little different. We have uh, the jet stream is still uh, trying to move through California. We have a transmitter right here, which is evaporating all this moisture as it moves through the area. We have a low pressure system right out here, which uh, is moving towards uh, Southern California. Uh, we did see a lot of chemtrails in the skies today. In fact, uh, a lot of comments uh, out in Hesperia, uh, uh, east of, of uh, Big Bear, out in the de high desert area. Um, a lot of chemtrails, a very, very, uh, very, he very heavy chemtrailing out in that area. And we saw a lot of uh, chemtrails over the uh, San Fernando and San Gabriel valleys today as well. Not nearly as heavy as out in the uh, desert areas, but uh, very heavy. We have currently right now, we have a relative humidity of 81% at uh, 1030 p.m. Temperature is 56 degrees. We've got 
The barometer is reading 29.95 inches, and we have a dew point of 50 degrees. We had partly cloudy skies, uh, sunny weather, but we had those chemtrails, and that's because we have this uh, jet stream flow moving through, and we, we uh, uh, are not getting rain. They're preventing rain by uh, spraying the chemtrails and maintaining uh, high pressure uh, by the use of these transmitters to block and evaporate uh, the, the uh, moisture field that is, is moving in. And we also have uh, this low pressure, which is moving towards Southern California. We can expect to see uh, cam trailing here in the next couple of days. If this gets any closer, we'll have to keep an eye and see what they do with the high pressure here. But it looks like uh, we've got high pressure installed right in this area. No, no reason to see what that should um, change until all this is neutralized. We have a blockade right here. And that is preventing this latest uh, system right here from diving down and merging with uh, this area right down here. And we have another spinning low pressure, which is uh, right just north of Hawaii. And we can see the manipulation right here. This is just walling up. We have a moisture field and a storm that is uh, mushrooming right into this installed area right here. Of high pressure, that is a blockade that's been installed with a uh, transmitter, phased array type microwave and we can see that the there is still uh, sort of a southeast movement this entire flow here including the uh, the transmitter uh, cutoff point is the entire thing is moving but it is still maintaining separation despite the entire uh, moisture field everything is kind of moving along like a like a glacier Okay, let's look at the uh, the infrared map, and we can see that California is high and dry, pretty much, at least in Southern California. I'm not sure what's happening up here in Northern California. There might there may be some rain up here. Mainly, this is just a report on the uh, what's going on with uh, Hurricane Matthew. So we'll just uh, end it right here, and hope that uh, nobody is uh, you know nobody's killed. Not too many people are killed by this. Uh, storm which should have been blown apart there's no reason that they should allow uh, these storms to cause all this trouble they have the technology we've seen it i've documented it here for a year and a half uh, now yesterday i mentioned uh, hurricane patricia being in august well that was way off i just checked that it was on uh, october 22nd and 23rd and those videos i made are available you can go and scroll to the to those dates and uh, watch what happened okay okay so that's it we'll do a uh, we'll do another update uh, tomorrow